Is this a bit? Have you played the DLC? I have not, no. Cosmic Wheel Sisterhood. Alright, what do you do? Do you just talk to people? Is it like a talking game? Huh. Did the time go up? Minus two, nice. Thank you, Force Field Down, for the resub. Big uh, Fox fan, I see. Thank you very much. What the hell is this? I didn't play the first one, I'll be completely lost. Come out now. trailers that's it okay what is Volvi a mole a vole what's a vole the hits keep coming let's drop another announcement timers it really makes you feel like you're playing a ball vital evolve the idol nice did the time go down
eight eight minutes and forty seconds. Bleak sword DX. All right, eight minutes thirty-five. Eight thirty. Yeah, oh, it's it's right this time. All right, buy developer merch. Your current clothes are unattractive. No, I feel like I'm dressed pretty well right now, actually, Valvi. Sorry, you're wrong. NL game. Many people are saying this. Yep. Double R. Yeah, why is there a double R? Devolver. Have you read Worm by J.C. McCray? It was published online by the author. I have not, no. I feel like someone asked this already. You've heard about Karmazoo. We'll, we'll hear about it again. <laughs> I, I have not heard of Karmazoo. Is it where bad animals go to get what they deserve? I went to the Karma Zoo the other day. Nice. Karma Zoo is a joyful cooperative platformer where up to 10 random players team up and must combine the abilities of 50 different characters to win and complete a loop. Yeah, no one's doing Throw that. Throw yourself on a spike and lay down an adorable little tombstone. Karma Zoo is about helping people, working together, and finding bliss in cooperation. Even it's when things go wrong. Yeah, that could be a fun clusterfuck. 627. Oh, yeah, that's right this time, okay. Video games solve everything except poverty and toothaches. Ooh, excuse me. So that Yakuza game that was announced, was that like a new mainline Yakuza game or a side game or what? Thank you. Yilmaz Coker. Yilmaz Coker? Ian. I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong for the reason. Thank you very much. Spin off between seven and eight. Okay. Did, was that already announced or was that a surprise like holy shit there's another one or what got a hell of a trailer coming up next from Good Shepherd already announced okay Ooh, excuse me have I played Breath of Fire I've played Breath of Fire I think one two three and four I don't think I finished any of them they were games I never owned but I rented when uh, when I was a kid They were alright. Me? I'm mad. I remember this. Web of Weird. Maybe this is the whole show. That would be nice, right?
following trailer trailer has been paid for by Suda Fifty One. Enjoy. Who's Suda Fifty One again? Oh, the Deadly Premonition guy. Right. Okay. Likely mature. What? Hey everybody, this is James Mountain, community manager here at Grasshopper Manufacturer. And today for a 20th anniversary. So Grasshopper when do I get to light up some demons? Hey, what the hell, man? Hey, what the, the fuck? bullet train is here. Hell monkey. And maybe I will blow your head off nicely. No, 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 no. Hey, every demon has the right to pick the music. For his own funeral. I do love a party. Demon Hunter. Your bullets have no fight. No devastation. Okay. TV is video games you can't play. How boring is that? True! Unironically used to think this when I was a kid. True! Now I think video games are TV that you have to play. How exhausting is that? Like, oh, God damn it. I, I, I just can't sit and watch. That's why we have streamers. Yes, play the game for me. Think of the time savings. Volvi says it's almost time. I think if you played a Yakuza game a month, including this month and early November, you could play the new Yakuza game at release. Aw, oh, damn. And that's all we would do every month, right? Because they take a month each. It's a Yakuza year. What is this Mortal Kombat music? And we end it with a Merry Yeekmas. For generations of gamers, this is where it all began. The cultural icon of the gaming industry. More influential than any pop star or politician. The most famous video game mascot of all time. Devolver Digital's very own, Volvi. You know him as the star of all your favorite Devolver games. But where did Volvi come from? Many years ago, Devolver Digital hired little-known designer Ronathan Trodfield and tasked him with creating a character that could rival the big names of the day. You have to remember, we were trying to compete with the heavy hitters. Bonk, Gex, Awesome Possum, Arrow the Acrobat. And this was no small task. Uh, Hi, Brian Cranston. Yeah, we spent a few years on it, but... To be honest, I don't really remember drawing it. I remember Ronathan showing us that final design. It was a beautiful moment. That face, those smart brown shoes, and of course, the master stroke. His one big hand. For gaming? I'd just never seen a character with a hand that big. 
We knew straight away <laughs> we had something special. Volvi was introduced to the world in his first solo game, Field Run, which went on to become a cult hit. We were seeing the sales numbers going up and up. We couldn't believe it. The demand for the character was insane. I think it's supposed to be a rat. And so Volvi went on to star in a string of hit Devolver titles. Hotline Miami. Volvi. Cult of the Lamb. Grease from Nomada. <laughs> My friend Pedro. Piku Niku. Enter the Gungeon. The list goes on and on. Volvi's popularity had skyrocketed. He was an icon, not just for video games, but pop culture in general. Convo. The merchandise was flying off the shelves. I'm talking clothing, toys, and even a range of what we called legally edible snack foods. Volvi's mystery bites. Can you solve the riddle? Uh, Join Volvi and try oh. to figure out what's in your mouth. Uh. <laughs> You're confusing to taste. <laughs> the tastes and trends are fickle. And as the years went by, kids began to want different things from their video game mascots. We saw the way the market was changing, and we made the difficult decision to part ways with Ronathan. We had no choice. We needed to keep Volvi relevant. It's Volvi that guy looks familiar. In the new game from Devolver Digital, Cigarette Ties. We lost the big cheeky smile. I don't need your permission to eat a meat burger. Even the big hand for gaming. <laughs> it's collecting cigarettes. Oh, dude. Dude. Maybe we went too far. Volvi 2.0 performed poorly, and the character began a slow but steady decline. So, we made the decision to quietly discontinue the Volvi franchise. It felt like I was losing a family member. Well, a, a distant I remember this. Member, this is really sad. It was still quite horrible. And, uh, nobody has seen him since. Until now. Good evening, good evening. And thank you all for coming to a very, very special night. I'm your host, Chris Jake. And you heard it right, folks. I am so proud. Chris to Jake? present the launch event for the reboot. Rebirth and return of the world's greatest video game mascot, Volvo! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, settle down, please, because it gets even better. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back Volvi's original creator, Ronathan Trumpfield! Come on, Ron! Yes! Wow! Oh my goodness, Ron, what a moment. You are looking fantastic. Please tell me, bro, how do you feel right now on this momentous day? Very nice. <laughs> wow, that is beautiful. That, that is amazing. And I yeah. cannot wait to see what you and the team at Devolver have come up with. So, uh... What do you say? You want to see him? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, may I present to you the new and improved Volve E! Wow! Oh my god, he is back! Incredible! But how does he work? I'm glad you asked, Chris. Well, we've taken the heart and soul of what Winnie made Calcium character so lovable, but we've given him a very important new update. This is a Black he Mirror episode? What is this? Biotech and machine learning. Volve E 
fuses the DNA of a real vole with today's most powerful AI technology. That's impressive, yeah. In short, Vold E can instantly generate brand new, fully playable games based on simple prompts by the player. Simple prompts, you say? That's right. The consumer no longer has to wait for a bunch of slow programmers and stinky developers to be inspired. <laughs> <laughs> no. They can use Vald E to play what they want, when they want. Here, uh, let me show you. Hey there, Evolve E. Evolve E. Generate a game for me. How about one that, oh, I don't know, is a cooperative survival sandbox, but with wizards. Oh, is this how they're gonna do the trailers? Oh my god. The shade? <laughs> no. <laughs> Holy shit! Six alone, the hunter, the maker, and the wild swamp zone. The young chief rising and a weaver of a bone. Remember this. Remember the gate was thrown wide, the horror inside. The riders drew fire, there was no one to hide. Before it was done, our heroes, yes, everyone. The involve is so good. All oh, the music. Sorry, Valvi, no gameplay, no hype. True. But chatter, this is gameplay. <gasps> It's like, don't starve. Okay, I remember this. This could be fun. I, I will try this. I don't think I'm going to stream it, but I'll try it. Locking it. Nah, we're not locking it in. More like Bastion? Do you think so? This looks way more like uh, Don't Starve in terms of art style to me. In terms of gameplay, it might be more like Bastion. This combat looks kind of awkward. Maybe it plays better than it looks. I like the art style though. Wizard with a gun. Nice. Does he have a dragon? Incredible. So wait a minute. Are you saying that game was entirely generated by Vald E? No one has to spend any time or effort making it? Correct. There was no real creative process at all. Just Valve E and his wonderful machine learning. Oh. Huh. oh, no, well, that's a good question, actually. They, uh, well, each prompt and game idea has to be digested by Valve E's powerful system. And so, inevitably, there are some <laughs> byproducts. It shits it out. <laughs> uh, 
so back to the games. Um, <laughs> do you mean to say that anyone can give Valvi a prom? Even, I don't know. Me? Me? <laughs> sure, Chris. Uh, see for yourself. Oh, okay. I'm nervous now. <laughs> Hi, Valvi. <laughs> Chris Jane. I'm a huge fan of the Talos principle, so I'd like to see something like that, but with new puzzles, a grander story, and big, beautiful worlds to roam around. Oh, and I'd like to see that game BJ. play right about now. I feel bad for Volvi. that many of these structures are not strictly functional. Tetris? There's a sense of aesthetics, of beauty here. This place might be meant to test us, but perhaps there's more to it than that. What are we being tested for? What if I liked the first one? I played a little bit and it seemed all right. Our worth? Curiosity? This doesn't look like it's running well. I keep thinking. Why puzzles? Is it just their symbolic value? Because the thing about puzzles. Let's get cracking. Is that they can be solved. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Now that looks like the kind of game I could really spend my disposable income on. Thanks, Valvi. Yes. And what happened to his big hand? <laughs> and the best part is that to create a game with Valvi, you don't need any game experience or uh, any of that tech stuff. <laughs> Who here hasn't dreamt of creating their own game? I have. Right? I, I have. You there! <gasps> yes! You have a game idea? Yeah, come on up here! Come on. All right. Okay. All right. Well, ow! And okay. Uh, oh, no, be careful. Be careful. Uh, no, please, please be careful. I'm so sorry. I'm just, I'm such a big fan. I didn't know you were already having a show as a kid. All right. So, do you have a game idea you'd like Valve E to generate? Uh, okay, um, how about a super weird walking simulator where you control the character's legs independently from his body? Maybe there's some guys in horses heads and possibly there's even a mountain? Right. Um, but let's see, Valve what could you <laughs> rustle us up? Don't touch him. <laughs> Nate, buddy, family meeting, let's go. Nope. Are you bringing him food again? Oh, honey, not we right now. We talked about this. Not right now. You are what? literally killing him with these pizzas. You just want to kill him with these pizzas? No, I'm not, I, he's 35. I want him to have some kind of discipline. Yeah. Nate, if you can hear my voice, I want you to come up here and we're having a family meeting. Is that one piece? <laughs> Did it say, are you, do you want to continue watching One Piece? Was that on it? <laughs> lock it in! Lock it in! Lock it in! Oh, it's the hardest lock-in of my life. Lock it in. Here we go. Why would you go on the wall? Oh man! <laughs> oh, can you not? I uh, d uh it's just I didn't. Yeah, let's go back in time to when you didn't. No, I I was just trying to c catch it. 
with my uh, sorry with your was using my yeah, you tried to catch it I saw it was starting to go and I just tried you to just kick you thought I'll give it a good kick no, to counteract the fall yeah I was just trying to steady it I might have over yeah you might you might I, have I yeah, over you might have you might have over steadied yeah, it no it's just a little over steadied well it's not steady now no I, well see you later so, uh wanker yeah. oh, oh. Uh. <laughs> baby steps Locked in. Locked in. But you don't own any of the intellectual property and you still have to buy it. Okay, give her a big hand. Brilliant. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Like, why would. If we bring a pro into this, let's give Valby something really special here. What's up, guys? fans of your influencing what sort of prize would you like to give Volvi here okay try this Volvi a much anticipated sequel to a hilarious online co-op game just more gameplay more levels just better all around Ooh. show what you got I haven't played the first one, I'm going to be completely lost. Human Fall Flat 2. I know I'd love to get my hands on a copy of that. Who wouldn't, right? <laughs> yeah, come on. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now that you have all met the new and improved Volve E, it's time for him to meet with you as we connect him to Devolver's global network of gamers. Yeah, that's right. Come uh oh. On. Once connected, his technology will be an open source tool free for us all to use. Wow. That is generous. Here we go! <gasps> Slight technical hit. <laughs> oh no! Terrifying. Volvi didn't like your game. Save him. Oh no.
Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> okay, well that was that was fun. <laughs> uh.